Good morning and welcome to Morning Coffee in Kyoto. Today hosted by my IHOP mug. And today with special guest props, laundry wool balls. Um, I had a really relaxing time talking about sink bags yesterday and not thinking about any stressful <laughs> world politics. So I thought I would talk about something else non-stressful again today. Um, laundry. So, as I have mentioned before, I have a dryer. I purport myself to be an environmentalist. However, it rains so much here every year, I can't, I can't imagine not having a dryer. I have to have dry clothes. And I don't own that many clothes. So, I need it. I just have to have it. So, I have a dryer. It's my shame. Um, as an environmentalist, I have a dryer, but, um, dryer sheets. So dryer sheets, um, are great if you want to continually have to buy something. It does make your laundry smell a little nice. Um, but then you have to continually buy something. It puts another chemical coat on your clothes and then you have to throw it away. Um, or you can get these little guys. So these little guys you can get online or you can um, purchase at some other specialty stores, but it's really easy to get them online. They are just called laundry balls. Um, oh wow. Mine have a lot of dog hair stuck on them because of my dog. Um, but um, these guys are made of wool, and you put six of them in your laundry load in your dryer. And then as your laundry dries, they roll around, and the action of them bouncing off your clothes, zing, zing, here and there, bounce, 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 um, eliminates the static that is the reason for why you put a dryer sheet in. I could totally give you the science teacher explanation of why static builds up in your dryer because it's continually spinning and turning and causing all of the clothes to rub against each other and shake out electrons um, and electricity is just the flow of electrons remember um, but suffice it to say that the reason you need dryer sheets in your laundry is to get rid of that static well these guys are a perfectly natural way to get rid of that static um, and you can reuse them again and again and again and again and again and again. Um, they say that after a while you need to get new ones, but I've had these for probably going on 15 years and they still take all the static out. Now they're smaller. I will say I recently bought another set because I think my dog, I, I'm blaming the dog. I don't think it was a child, but I think the dog um, ate one. And you'll notice that the newer ones are kind of monstrously sized compared to the smaller ones. They they obviously came and were bigger, and as they've been dried over the years, they've gotten tighter and smaller. Um, but they still work. Um, and these guys bounce around in the dryer, and they're nice and soft, so they do not hurt my rest of my laundry. And, uh, they don't smell like other wool things do <laughs> smell. Um, they just, uh, they're just a nice, soft, happy little thing that I get rid, gets rid of the static in my dryer. So I guess that isn't really a long conversational topic at all. Get laundry balls. Get the static out of your dryer. The dryer sheets here in Japan are harder to find and there's less variety because very few people have dryers. So I initially got these because I thought it would be hard to find dryer sheets really readily. But as the years have gone by, more and more people are getting dryers, I have discovered. So um, the dryer sheets are becoming more common at the supermarket. But... um. I have my six dryer balls and I don't ever have to buy any dryer sheets ever again. So it's worth it to me. Also, I'm, I'm really cheap. Like I can't help but 
find if I can find something like this where I can buy it once and then I never have to buy anything else ever again. Except for when my dog eats them. But yes, I would much rather just buy something and then not have to rebuy stuff all the time. I have to think of some other little things that I use here around the house. I know I talked about sink bags yesterday. I'm going to talk about the dryer balls today. Laundry balls. Um, there's lots of other little things you can use around your house, especially here in Japan, because you have to save money because there's other things that are more expensive. And you have to try and be environmentally friendly. I guess you don't have to, but it just seems wrong to not try and be environmentally friendly these days. No, oh, I'm going to get off on a topic that's going to depress me. Um, so yes, if you're going to be here long term, or if you're, you know, I, I want to say, you can use these in any country. You can find them online, probably find them on Amazon in any country. Just Google, just Google. Just search for dryer balls or wool, laundry, ball, static, you know, all those keywords, and you'll find them for sale. Um, they work in any type of dryer in any country. I feel like um, a really powerful American dryer might make them get smaller sooner. But, um, yeah, it's not something that's exclusive to Japan. Um, but it is something that's, once you buy it, you never have to buy it again, so it's cheap. And you're not throwing away um, a paper every time you do laundry and putting more chemicals into your clothes which then go into our water system when you wash them later or all over your skin especially if you have sensitive skin all right I have drug that out as long as I possibly can and I'm done with my coffee so I'm gonna say have a good day and I will talk with you later have a good one bye man <sighs> My brain is not completely awake in the morning. <laughs> I should probably make these videos. Welcome to morning after coffee in Kyoto so I can at least think. <laughs>